Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a new family, but it's an important topic because they have something important to say. It is the Eads family and they have over half a million subscribers. They mainly do birthing type vlogs, filming births, talking about births, their births, exploiting the births of the, their babies. But what happens when they run out of ideas for exploitation? They get their little child, their eight-year-old child, to deliver that baby and clickbait it. That's a novel idea. So they actually get the, ba the eight-year-old into the birthing pool and deliver the baby, clickbait it. This got 17 million views. 17 million views. You know how many pounds that is? Or dollars? It's equivalent to around about $17,000. Give or take. You know, if they're doing things right. There you go. But that is who they are. Today we're going to be talking about an important video. Which she's just brought out. And she's talking about divorce. And the lies of social media this is really important take a look at this hey youtube it's lucy i've thought about all the different ways i would do this video over decades now i would say how i'd say it, all the thoughts that you could possibly think of and yet this is not what i ever imagined sitting here dressed like this looking like this but i'm done and i think when you're done, you really know you're done. At a breaking point in life, I don't care where I'm sitting. I don't care what I look like. I don't care what's coming out of my mouth. This isn't rehearsed. This isn't planned. This is raw. This is as raw as I can get. My marriage is shit. Wow. Her marriage is shit. Now, they've built a an entire family vlogging channel based on the happy marriage so for her to come out and say that is quite something i'm done covering for a narcissistic prick i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna sound angry more than likely because i am angry but i also don't want to cry because i've cried enough over the years i'm not giving the man another tear 2011 he left he went to work he didn't come home no call, no nothing. Eventually, he turned his phone off. I was calling hospitals because he, he worked late at that time. Still does. I thought he got into a wreck. I thought he was tired, exhausted. Pace Pace was colicky. I had all the worst case scenario thoughts, right? My soul's out swimming at an apartment complex with a couple girls and a guy. Making it up, having fun. No warning, no nothing. Just lights. Cool, I'm at home with three kids. Uh, one who's colicky worried about whether you're alive or dead and, and that's what you're doing. I lost all trust, all trust, rightfully so. Fast forward, 2015 rolls around, miscarriage, got pregnant, spent thousands of dollars to conceive Jameson, did IUI, endless doctor's appointments, secondary infertility issues. He had low testosterone. What sperm he did have was like next to nothing. I think he had like 200 is what we ended up with. and. So I guess the question that must be asked is, why carry on? Why carry on with YouTube? You've lost all trust in him and you don't want to be with him clearly. And yet after that, you have five more kids, each of which you clickbait the shit out of and earn a shit ton of money. I'm just saying that is what it's coming across like to me. Somehow we managed to conceive first go around me time went into conceiving Jameson's pregnancy. Three weeks after Jameson was born, Joel went to work and didn't come home. The first knee-jerk reaction, worst case scenario, oh my God, what's wrong? And then it was like, oh, I know he didn't. He turned off his location, changed passwords to everything. Drained bank accounts, even stupid shit, Netflix. Changed passwords. Now the kids don't even have access to that because we don't have cable, satellite or any of that. Like that's all we had. And at that time, we had all the time in the world. No, you know, really, we weren't full of extracurricular activities. So we had TV time. Not anymore. Well, let me back up. He was gone for a short amount of time, about a week or so. I say short, not short, but a week. He came back. I, keep in mind, I had a 
uh, postpartum hemorrhage, bleeding, um, hemorrhoids out the ass, literally. Um, I had a clot on my asshole that was massive. Couldn't sit straight for like, I don't know, almost six months. It was a long time. I was, the, the only real option at that point in time was surgery, um, aside from the meds that weren't really working. And anywho, I had a very, very rough recovery with Jameson and Joel's gone. Valentine's comes, Jameson's born December 23rd, and he left three weeks after Valentine's Day comes. He cooked me my favorite meal at home. We all, as a family, went out to go watch a movie at the mall, had fun. Next morning, uh, February the 15th, Joel went to work, didn't come home. He's gone two weeks this time. Does the same thing again, changes all the passwords, tells me that it's in the past. I can't bring up the past, that if I bring it up again, he's gonna just keep doing it. He came back. But if I keep bringing it up again, he's just gonna do it again, that I'm controlling him, that I'm manipulating him. The whole time he's gone, he never says anything. No communication. Well, he sounds great, doesn't he? He sounds like a lovely fella. And yet you had eight children and continued on YouTube, just acting all happy and everything. Doesn't sound all that happy to me. Doesn't talk to the kids, doesn't ask about the kids, doesn't want to FaceTime the kids doesn't come to the house he's out drinking every night at the freaking bar doing whatever he wants he doesn't have friends he has co-workers because he treats everybody like shit so he stays with a co-worker until they give him the boot and then he comes back home so repeat each time he's gone he stays longer and longer and longer jameson's whole first year of life joel's gone I do my best that when he is in the picture, I put on a happy face because I can't say anything because he's gonna leave. Breastfeeding, I'm still recovering. Horrible recovery from that pregnancy. Went to Disney World, brought all the kids. That's why Joel wasn't there. I lied, said he stayed home to work, lied for him. He's very controlling and very manipulative. Fast forward 2016, left again 2019. A few months after Oakland was born, October-ish about this time. Left again, but he came back really quick in comparison to the times before and then fast forward to 2022 now same thing you're not going to control me you're not going to manipulate me as time has progressed he's done less and less and less and less and less and less and less all y'all who wanted to complain and say that my husband did everything for me and i was a lazy piece of shit no bitches that's not the case <laughs> what it was was me dealing with my own shit so when i would ask him to vacuum i would intentionally record when i ask him to do the dishes I would intentionally record, throw it in the video. I knew the truth. I knew I did all that stuff and he was occasionally doing it, but I didn't want y'all to think that he was the piece of shit he actually is. So that is a truth behind the lie. From everything that ev everybody's ever seen of their family on the channel is that he does all the work he does all the vacuuming he does all the cleaning and everything but it's minimal and just for the cameras whereas she's the one that's doing everything this is her story obviously but you know doesn't make doesn't seem all that unrealistic to be fair. So I painted a different picture and I need people out there to know what you see online is not real. It's not, I don't care how happy they look. They've got skeletons, they do. And I'm done hiding mine. And that, that there is the important part that everybody done. needs to know is that lies. social media, me family like vlogging is a lie. Yes, I am. But Anybody that like how you watches it now, properly will know this, that it's a lie, but it's interesting hearing it from does. an actual so person who is in that situation of that it's a lie. How not everybody's ever. cheating on everybody else, but it's not the same they shit. are it's, it's just not. acting I can absolutely take ownership the happy shit. family when and in reality, mostly it's just like just um, a business partnership. And you stay in a marriage just for you know, the family, for the family channel, not just for the family in this case, for the family channel. 
lot of time in it's therapy. It's just fake. I found out Isn't a lot that? of stuff about myself that was not good. So that I didn't know. She's not completely blameless. It shook in, me to the core. I was like, wow. You know, I get what she's saying about as great as I thought they were. About being that's okay. fake you and you grow. not and believing what you're you know, watching perfect, and everything. You just gotta be willing but to accept a that couple crap. of things, I had a look, Do obviously, at the channel. The and and does she's, this. unfortunately, oh, she's been suffering from, that, but I'm not well, she's been going through Oh, I don't know some why hard I times angry. with having cancer and everything. I know I shouldn't do it. But, but she said, right, myself. this is the part I that I didn't spiral. quite get. It does nothing. She set up a, a GoFundMe Done. for a you know, the kids have been hidden from it long for enough. cancer but treatment. And every time having clickbaited and profited off every single I'm bird she's ever had, I would have thought that would have been enough to, stand up and to, walk away, especially not with to keep you going I know through that I shouldn't have kept having, having kids with him. treatment. You can talk all but the no, shit you want. She's Go for it. Because you're probably right. Less than I am guilty about three months after her 17 million that. viewed birth video. She sets up a GoFundMe. She raised five thousand dollars. I don't care what you say. I think that that is wrong because of the amount of money that she's made. She also very aggressively clickbaited the GoFundMe. Eighteen videos I counted where she's put in the title GoFundMe. So that's very aggressively. It's not like it's just an off the cuff thing where she just is hoping to make some money out of it. It is very aggressive. And yeah, I don't think that she should have done that. She claims that other people, her fans, suggested that she should set it up. But, you know, I, I just think that that is wrong, especially after... It was only a few months after making, what, 17 grand or more on a on a birth vlog. You know, you don't need the money. You, also, both of them work, so they have more income. It's just, yeah. Anyway, that's just a side note. The main point of this video is because of the the claims that she's come out the revelations about how fake the family is they've been vlogging on this channel for 14 years that's a hell of a lot of fake the amount of people who've tuned in to watch them be a fake family it's just disgusting and so the takeaway from this is if you ever watch a family channel don't just say oh you're such a lovely family, such a nice family. How amazing your family is. I want to be part of your family. No, that is not real life. This is for show. This is like a TV show that you're watching. It is not real life. Just remember that. Everybody, please have a lovely day. Thank you for tuning in today. Please click the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon in another video. Take care and bye-bye.